Hey, it's Tim. I recently just um discovered some stuff that was that's able to be made and like other crap like that. Okay, anything that works for you. Now he's got to hold his nerve. Too long, and our wooden machine is on fire. Not long enough, and the ball will go out in the air. So he holds, and he holds. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not possible without the uh, knowledge and firefighting yeah. skills of our trebuchet master, so please give a big cheer. Right, can I please have one more cheer for your entertainers this evening, Sir Lewis and myself. And actually, yes, for those of you who are wondering, uh, that video I showed you, the um, world's largest trebuchet firing a fireball, which is this video, the one you just saw, uh, that was legitimate. Um, there was no special effects, I didn't fake the fire, that was real fire. That was the world's largest trebuchet. That was the um, world's most powerful trebuchet. It only fired about two and a half miles. It could have gone five miles, but uh, there's people's houses within five miles, so I don't think you want to kill people. Um, but no, there were no special effects. That was legit. Um, and yes, I do live in the U.S. That was in Scotland. I went on a trip. But never mind that. That was legit for those of you who are wondering and questioning. Um, special effects are in the uh, wacky superpowers videos that I'm going to be adding on soon. Me and Trash and Bash, uh, Dylan over at Trash and Bash worked on that. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you en enjoyed uh, Fire in the Air. Uh, that's a weird way to put it. Um, I got nothing.